Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to one of many videos we're going to make today. This is, uh, in our last video I showed you um, Rip Klotzkanski. I have a brand new Rip Klotzkanski I found at Walmart. I'm going to unbox that shortly. And then I asked the fans, or the viewers I should say, what will I do with this here Rip Klotzkanski. I made a lot of custom cars, so I'm going to, actually going to paint that car this morning in this here first video. And I had a lot of suggestions from people. One person said make a carbon fiber. I actually have a carbon fiber rip, see that? I think that's Rip Kleskonski. And I have a silver Francesco Bernoulli. And I have two Francescos over here. And in the last video, I mistakenly called, this is um, Francesco Bernoulli's mom. I called it uh, Uncle Topolino's mom or something like that there. I forget who I call it, wrong name. Anyway, that is actually Francesco Bernoulli's mom right there. So whoever corrected me on that, thank you. And also I'm gonna make, in this video, I'm gonna start putting some cars together. I have a, this is Rocket McQueen in pieces. I'm going to put him together in this video and then later today I'm going to put in a couple more videos together. I got all the pieces here. Um, Fabulous Lightning McQueen, Metallic Cal Weathers, and Bling Bling McQueen. So let's, uh, no further ado, let's put the camera in the tripod and unbox the brand new um, Rip Kluskonski. Okay, here we go. This is a brand new, these are kind of rare. Um, I'm really happy to see it. Because the first time you had to buy it on eBay. Check that out. This is beautiful. Never driven before until now. Beautiful. Now you notice the fender on this side is a little lighter color than that. And actually this here is a little different color orange. So they're probably made in different manufacturing facilities. And um, gee, you know what? I kind of like the dark one better. I don't want to, I don't really want to destroy the dark one. So that was hardly ever used. Can't tell the difference. I'm not going to destroy the good one, the brand new one. I mean the other one. I'm, not, I'm going to put that right there. And this is the one I'm going to change today. I hate to do it. It's brand new out of the package. But I'm going to make this primer Rip Tuskanski. Okay, I'm going to put it, I'm going to glue a stand here. And then I can actually hold it with the stand and then paint it to primer gray. So let's first of all see if our rocket car is ready. There's Lightning McQueen rocket. There's the wheels. And there's the exhaust pipe. They just fall right in place. Right back here, watch. One way or the other, they go in right side up. There it is. There. There is the exhaust pipes. Perfect. And then the wheels, um, looks like they fit right in the slots there. Different sizes, as you can tell. And the base is totally different than the other ones. It's kind of a square base. It has to hold it all together. Well, you know what? That's the wrong base. Here's the right base. I found it over there somewhere. There. See how it fits together perfectly now? Well, when I turn the wheels, they move. Now, let's get the glue applicator and put some glue right here so it doesn't come apart. And there is Rocket Lightning McQueen back together again. And here's his blast wall. We only have half a blast wall because we use the other half of the blast wall making the tractor. Remember I cut that piece over there? So that piece in the tractor, believe it or not, is the other half of the blast wall. But we don't need the blast wall anyway. So let's put this here, Lightning McQueen, right over here. He's now fully assembled. In the next video, I'll put another car together. And let's get out, I don't know, I really don't want to paint that nice bright orange car. I think I'll take this one here. This might be a, a cheaper, cheaper version. So let's put the stand on this and then I will paint it primer gray. Okay, this worked out so well in the last video. And when I painted the micro cars, I'm gonna put it right here. Dab the glue and stand. And when it hardens, I'll have actually have the car to be able to mount on the stand right here so I can paint it. Still touching it, what do you think? Okay, looks good. Kind of wobbly. Yeah, a little wobbly for me. Maybe I can get the stand for it better. That was a great idea. I glued the uh, the wrench right there, hold it in place. So now I have a brush all ready to go and I need some primer gray paint. Move these cars out of the way a little bit so on the background. Put my gray paint right here. Brand new dollar store primer gray. And some people will hate me doing this because this is Rip Kluskonski, but there'll be many different coats of paint on Rip. I tell you, it's going to be gray, then it's going to be silver, and then it's going to be midnight black, 
and I don't know what else. And don't bother sending in suggestions now because I'll be making the next video very shortly. I won't have time to get your suggestions. Check that out. That came pretty nice. I'm not doing his helmet either, by the way. I'm not doing the wheels. Just the body of Rip Kukonski as Primer Gray Rip. And thanks again for watching, everybody, and being uh, followers of our channel. I know a lot of you guys are collectors and custom car makers, and some of you guys are making really good custom cars, I have to admit. They're beautiful. Mine aren't that great to just... Uh, I'm just showing other people how to do it, how they can do it. If they if they take their cars and turn them into something else, they'd have a really, really nice selection of new cars. And I noticed if you're watching, uh, following what's going on, um, Pixar Cars Customs are making all kinds of new cars now. Pixar Cars are coming up with all kinds of new custom cars, I should say. And I think it's partly related to these videos because they're seeing how popular they are and they're seeing other collectors on other channels making custom cars and they're saying gee we can sell more cars so they're taking all kinds of cars from cars 3 and cars 2 and cars 1 and they're making different designs like how many majors do you see now you see all kinds of new majors coming out custom major different color metallic cal weathers all these cars that didn't exist in the movie are all coming out as custom because they know there's a lot of collectors out there and a lot of people like making their own i i, I tried to get them to sell their own uh, custom cars like with paint so you could actually the people could make their own custom cars themselves their own ideas like rather than taking one already made by Pixar just customize your own car sell some paint with it and then the people could uh, make their own designs set up a set up a YouTube channel or whatever so you could show your pictures of your own cars or own videos I like doing the YouTube because um, I get lots more viewers and People keep coming back, checking the channel out for more videos. And if you're watching this first thing this morning, thanks for getting up and watching. It's probably a premiere. They might not be all premieres today. I'm just going to make as many as I can and pump them out. It's Saturday and I'm not working, so I'm kind of get a lot, a lot of videos done today while I can. And make hay while every other expression got to make hay while the sun shines. Well, the sun shining today and I'm off today. So this primer rip is looking great. And I'm kind of glad I didn't ruined the bright orange one even though this is brand new um it's rare obviously but i have the other rare one so that's that's the more important one i'm not going to do his helmet like i said all the tires they're going to stay original i'll never make this go back the way it was again obviously because he's fully painted now a little green spot behind his helmet there see it this is a was a great idea okay i think we're almost done a little more right here Get kind of thick now so it's not drying right away so i'm gonna leave this dry just in the open air so it doesn't get too hot one of the cars i did the heat lamp and it melted remember that one remember doc hudson i melted him put the heat lamp too close and it melted the plastic well you know what everyone i think this is um done um if i make too many more mistakes i might get some paint on his helmet i don't want to do that because he's in the car not many times very often you see the driver in the car while he's being painted do you there he is look so that's not really a Pixar car. There's actually a driver in there with the helmet. It's kind of different. I never thought of that before. Most cars are... The car is the driver. But this car has something in it. A person? Did anybody think of that first? I just thought of that just now. There's actually a person behind the wheel. Who's driving these race cars? Same as Francesco Bernoulli. He's got a driver in there too. Or unless he's part of the car. But it looks to me like it's a helmet there. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do for that beautiful... Primer Gray, Rip Puskonski. I'm not going to take out the stand because I'm going to paint it again in the next video. But if you wonder what it looks like next to the original, there's the original Rip Puskonski. And there's Primer Rip Puskonski. And so far today we put back together Rocket Lightning McQueen and we have half a blast ball because we used it up on the tractor. Okay, I'll see you in a little while for the next video. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, next time I'm going to do a silver. I'm going to turn this guy silver. Somebody wanted to make him silver, make him put some black stripes on, who knows. And then after that, it'll be midnight black. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.